Let's go and find the seeds of plants. Some plant seeds are often regarded as the food of human beings. Fruit seeds are protected by the thick pulp. Flowering plants, or angiosperms, fall into two classes, based on the number of cotyledons, or seed leaves, within their seeds. For monocotyledons, also called monocots, seeds contain only one cotyledon. In contrast, dicotyledons or dicots hold two cotyledons in their seeds. The three conditions of seeds germination that is sufficient water and air as well as proper temperature. Seed germination begins with a seed absorbing water, which leads to swelling and a softening of a seed's coat or testa, activating the metabolic functions needed for germination and growth. Seeds that are just mature won't germinate right away. And this period is called a period of dormancy, which can help a seed travel farther and germinate and grow in the best environment and prevent the death of plants due to germinating before the winter. After the seeds germinate, we can observe their leaves, rhizomes and tiny root hairs. Have you seen flowers with mixed colors? Now you can plant a colorful flower for you with your hands. Transpiration is the process by which moisture leaves the green plants through small openings in their leaves called stomata. Root hair present at the terminal ends of roots absorb moisture from surrounding soil and transport it to the leaves through the stem. Although seeds can germinate and grow in the test tubes, but water cannot provide enough nutrients for growth. Transplant the plants and provide them enough nutrition. The sun is the main source of energy for plants, and the ground is often denser on the sunny side. Not all plants rely on seeds to propagate, take a look at another ability of plants. Vegetative propagation Direct propagation of certain parts of the plant itself. Such as potatoes, garlics, etc. 